What's up guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. With the Mazer Brothers. Right behind me is the new Bronco Raptor guys in all of its glory in eruption green. We're gonna go around this entire Bronco in this video and show you everything that makes the new Raptor Bronco special. We're gonna compare it to what we drive, which is a four door first edition and show you all the little, uh, is this quirks and features, man? <laughs> we won't hit all the quirks and features, but we're gonna show you all the things that makes this different and special from the regular Bronco. I'm gonna start out by saying this is a pre-production prototype Bronco Raptor. So everything you see here may not be what is exactly on the brand new truck, but this is gonna be very close. And let's start with the biggest elephant in the room. I know a lot of you guys see these fender flares on the internet, pictures of it. A lot of people hate them. I gotta be honest, in person, they're not as bad as they look in pictures. This finish on here is also smooth. It's more like what comes on the Raptor truck. If you wanted to, these could also be painted to color match the body pretty easily. So they're a little bit different than your standard fender flares that come on, on Broncos. This piece on the fender flare is rubber and uh, there's an even bigger piece on the back. I mean, this is gonna be very functional. You're not gonna have stuff flying up the side of your truck, um, but I will agree with you. They're probably the biggest fender flares I've ever seen in my life on a factory vehicle. When you finish this Raptor video, we've also got a full video on the new Bronco Everglades. We'll put that in the end card and down in the description so you can click right on over on that video and see everything that makes the Everglades special. Here in the back, they're also very large. Um, there's an accessory ready area here. Not really sure what you would use this for. If you guys know a good accessory that could be attached to this fender, let me know down in the comments because I've got no idea. Once again here on these fender flares, the back has this large rubber piece as well. Uh, that's going to keep it from being torn up when going off road and everything. Uh, seems very heavy duty. It's uh, probably a quarter to three eighths of an inch thick. Um, so it looks like these are built to last. Another thing we noticed on these fender flares a lot of these are probably going to have some aftermarket attachment ready in the future. We noticed that Ford left this bumper in here tight on the body. So if someone were to change this profile, you don't have a bumper that's sticking way out that you're going to have to change before you could modify these fenders. Factory 37s. I mean, guys, these things are ginormous. I remember the first time I actually saw some 37s on a Jeep. They're substantially bigger looking than 35s. Um, it looks like, and again, pre-production, and you may have like an option or two, like you do with F-150s on what wheels you could get with the Raptor Bronco. But these actually have the same granite-like uh, finish as you do on the fender flares. So just in true Raptor fashion, they're like taking the color, it's that little sparkle metallic granite color all throughout this. These are just beauty rings for now, but you can take these off and buy true bead locks that you can bolt on and you'd have 37s with bead locks pretty easy from the factory and DOT approved fender flares that come out far enough to support that. You could drive them in any state and any road in America, not have a problem, and then you could do some massive off-roading in this thing from the jump. A lot of people hate on the price being so crazy to start with. Was it 70 or you're probably gonna get the mid to upper 70s if you option this thing out. But if you take a regular Bronco and you try to get it to this point, you're gonna spend some money to get there. It's not free to get this set up. So here in the front, there's a lot of big changes over the standard Bronco. There's actually some fog lights in here that are like pod lights. Um, don't know if this is gonna come on the production vehicle, but this does say Raptor. Uh, these are rigid lights. Um, unsure if that's gonna be the finished product or not. You've also got this molded rubber piece. It's not quite the same material as the mud flaps is, but it does bring this appearance down a little bit further and the vehicle itself is obviously a little taller. So they've made this bumper feel taller by having this piece on. You also get a bash plate on the Raptor. Um, a lot of your suspension components are gonna be different on the front view on this Raptor as well. These tow hooks on the front are uh, black on our first edition. These are silver. This seems like something that might change on the actual production unit to blend this bumper in. I'm just not sure about these being silver. 
the coolest thing that jumps right out at you and i don't think anybody's going to argue this is one of the coolest things ford did on the raptor f-150 they brought it over to the bronco it's also going to be on the ranger raptor i think it's awesome the only thing i think is you're probably going to see a bunch of raptor broncos running around in the near future because everybody did that to the f-150s as soon as you could buy a fake raptor grill and put it on your f-150 they were everywhere I think this is going to show up on a whole lot of Broncos that aren't even Raptors. But guys, it looks killer. It sets it apart. And the F-150 Raptor is the top dog F-150. This is the top dog Bronco. And that right there says it all. Some big changes back here in the back. Look at these tail lights, guys. Um, instead of being a LED tail light with a flat profile, these look to be actually you know, three separate modules. Uh, you've also got sensors right here in the side, I believe, so your bliss works and everything. These are absolutely different, and this is the only model that these are going to come on. Looking at this up close, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to move these over to your standard Bronco because this profile right here looks to be a little different than the standard. This tire carrier, it's also beefed up to handle this 37-inch tire. Your standard tire carrier does not have this here. Uh, it's just got these hinges. So that's something to note. Uh, we've also got the bigger third brake light back here. It's wider and taller on this one. Looking at the camera though, it seems like this may be the same that comes on the uh, 35s. On your Sasquatch Broncos that come with 35s, this is larger. I don't know if this is a whole new separate piece to fit 37s or not. It'd be interesting to know. All right, major cool factor. The normal rock slider is actually still on here and they've got some extra holes with some Bronco bolts and you can actually unbolt this ridiculously rigid and I, I mean like if you slide the back of your leg on this when you get out it's gonna rip half your skin off but this thing will actually bolt off when you go to the trail if you're gonna do rock crawling and get out of your way and give you that clearance back but for most of the time when you're just driving this is bolted on and you've got a step that actually drops down, which is one of the big knocks on some of the upper trim levels on Broncos because it's hard to get in and out without having a step. But this is 37, so it's gonna be even harder to get in and out of than a regular Sasquatch. You're gonna need this, but the fact that you can unbolt this and keep a rock slider, really cool design and it looks awesome. It definitely sets it apart from every other Bronco out there. Very few body panels on this Bronco Raptor are the same as your standard Broncos. Fender flares, you can tell right here that they start out about an inch, inch and a half wider than a standard Bronco. They have a bulge for these big 37 inch tires. You're also going to have a functional heat extractor on here. It does mold back in. It looks like the front door may be a standard door. So they have saved that functionality. Makes sense because of um, accessories and aftermarket doors, they can be the same. The hood on the Bronco Raptor is definitely a lot wilder than what comes on your standard. You've got this huge functional heat extractor on top. Um, there's a different bulge to this thing as well, it feels like. Um, they've touched almost every body panel on this truck. Now under the hood of this thing is probably what you're paying more money for most. The styling obviously out of this world. We haven't even got to the suspension yet out of this world, but you are gonna get the biggest motor that you can possibly get in the new Bronco. It's a three liter. It's probably exactly what is in the Explorer ST, three liter twin turbo. You're looking at 400 horsepower, 415 pounds of torque. They may turn it up just a little bit for the Bronco Raptor. That's a sick motor, guys. A lot of people run really low drag times in that Explorer ST with that motor. And if aftermarket tuning ever opens up for this and you're able to go wild with this, this uh, platform, you're gonna get a lot more power. Inside of this bad boy is a very nice place to be. And I'm comparing this to a first edition, not a, a marine grade spray out interior Bronco. Guys, this thing is awesome. Super upper line. You've actually got real stitching in the uh, dash up here and the dash is a unique material. I wanna point out my favorite thing. This thing has carbon fiber everywhere. This shifter is the coolest shifter I've ever seen. It's leather, carbon fiber, and it's got the Bronco in metal on here. American flag is metal color. Orange stitching, and you're gonna see orange all the way through this thing. Just like on your Raptors, even down the door uh, in that netting, you've got orange there too. 
your grab handles here are carbon fiber with the orange trim that's unique on your seats you've got two colors of stitching you've got your gray stitching and your orange stitching now who knows what ends up happening on the production but you got some alcantara like material i won't call it alcantara and then uh, a second type of alcantara material with white behind it i like this because it'll actually breathe um, you don't have vented seats in any of the broncos that blow air but these will actually breathe a little bit nice bolstered up edges so like you're gonna it's a nice comfortable seat like you're gonna not have a hard time holding in here when you're doing some serious high speed off-roading on the shift knob you've got a custom orange color here that is unique uh coolest thing so far the actual plaque here has the bronco uh, raptor grill in it here on this badge that's cooler than the back side of the pillow steering wheel uh by far a humongous upgrade this may be worth the money in itself because you got carbon fiber everywhere you got orange piping it just feels good and then your bronco is blacked out here so major improvement here obviously got your guide up top and it actually has a little texture so it's not just a piece of orange leather it's actually got a little cross pattern in it that's just cool guys like everything about this is cool you got big paddle shifters and these appear to come right off of the f-150 raptor really really nice you've also got these buttons here uh, where you can control like you can in raptor f-150 and you can also have these same types of buttons in my gt500 which is also ford performance you can control your steering feel you've probably got raptor mode where you can set what you want it to do when you hit that button i'm guessing i uh, don't know if that's actually correct you can control your suspension and then you can control your exhaust sound so obviously the exhaust is going to sound a little bit better on the raptor than it is on a, a regular bronco so we worked some magic and ended up with the bronco raptor key so i'm going to be able to show you the startup sequence and show you what this looks like so i'm gonna hit the button here we got raptor popped up here for some reason we're flipped into uh the back camera so i hit that button there we go that's gone now and guys again this is pre-production so may not be everything just right on software but all this appears to be the same this is the real showstopper i'm gonna turn off all the little things that are jacked up we're actually up on some rocks right now um but yeah this thing looks gorgeous it's huge um all digital everything all your modes are over here um there's more choices in the middle this just looks awesome and i'm sure if we got in here and tinkered with it for a while we could find a way to change colors or change the way things look or whatever if i switch modes um let's see here let's see if i can switch a mode yeah when i switch modes we're in normal now if i go back one to sport that changes i'll just show you all of them real quick tow haul slippery i'll go back the other way you got off-road baja mode turns it orange you've got rock crawl mode and the stay bar disconnect is actually happening i probably should stop what i'm doing right now i was told not to put it in drive but i'm going to get us back to regular mode but that's pretty awesome guys the whole setup in here I can't say enough about it. This thing's sweet. The armrest uh, console cover here actually says Raptor. It's punched into it, white stitching. Everything else about it seems to be normal, but uh, they didn't miss an opportunity to say Raptor everywhere on this vehicle. Now this is a hard top and you can tell the hard top front two panels do a butt up to the middle panel. That's one big piece you take off. Something I'm gonna point out, the regular Bronco doesn't have this bar it's wide open this might take accessories um, may have a safety feature it may be to make it more rigid because this thing's probably going to get jumped and taken on a lot more whoopty whoops but that's curious to me and i look forward to learning more about what they plan to do with that in the back it's very similar uh, the seats in are just like in the front very detailed out but your size and kind of what you got with this mold guard on the back and everything all that seems to be like a normal bronco same floor mats obviously they may put raptor floor mats in the actual 
but this is a very nice place to be and spend some time. You do have a light up there. I'm not sure if ours does, uh, but man, it's a nice, nice back seat. Of course, the suspension on the new Bronco Raptor is completely different. The first thing you'll notice is the super large Fox shocks. Being wider, I'm sure all of your control arms, your axles, everything on this thing, your lower control arms are definitely different than your standard model. So your suspension is beefed up, upgraded to handle the most rigorous conditions on the Bronco Raptor. Let's go check out the rear suspension. In the back, we've also got Fox shocks with dual reservoirs. Um, says live interval on them, so there may be uh, a, an electronic connection associated with these to help with the tuning. Um, not sure on that. Maybe you guys know, put it down in the comments. Underneath here in the back, you can see this massive four link setup on this live axle. You can also get a better shot of these shocks here in the back these are absolutely massive guys the axles are definitely different on the bronco raptor the fronts are dana 44 advantech m210 independent suspension with a spicer performa track electronic locker in the rear you got a dana 50 inch and that's a whole new ball game guys the bronco raptor's not just some new fancy metal and some fenders and some bigger tires with a little bit more power these bigger axles also have 470 gearing. This thing doesn't have a problem going airborne as you've already seen in some videos. It'll land it, it won't tear up like some people have already done with their regular Bronco Sasquatches. The rear fenders, even with these gigantic flares, this bulges way more than regular. Instead of having a round gas filler down here, you've got a rectangular one up high to get up and over. So I'm sure that's a long way down to the tank. But guys, these things bulge out humongous, just like your truck bed on an F-150 Raptor. You know, the doors are about flat and then it bulges out for the truck bed. It bulges out back here in the back to get this thing wider. On your first editions and maybe outer banks, your mirror caps are gonna be gloss black. And on this particular uh, Raptor here, these are still your unpainted, uh, non-smooth finish. It'll be interesting to see if this stays the same in production vehicles or if these get painted body color or the gloss black. The new Bronco Raptor is very special, guys. Really digging it. We were this close to getting to take a ride in this thing, but it's <laughs> not gonna happen this year. The fenders don't offend me. They're not offensive like I thought they would be. I kind of regret not placing that order. I had an opportunity to get one of these. Yep. A lot of money, probably not a car that I had to have or, or just had to have in my garage since we got that four-door first edition. But I'm not, I'm not hating on the fenders anymore in person. I would definitely wrap those in a body color and see what that looked like. Yep. If you wanna check out our video on the Bronco Everglades, we'll put that right here over Brad's face and down <laughs> in the description. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.